Moss Custom Renovation and Review. Today we're going to have a look at one of my favorite tools, the Makita Cordless Vacuum. If you enjoy the review, please subscribe. If the review is making you question your life, subscribe anyways. You're probably going to love the next one. The review is going to focus on three categories. One, what do I like and dislike about the tool? Number two, how do I use the tool? What's it good for? And number three, we're going to take the Festool CT Mini and the Makita Cordless Vacuum. We're going to hook them together. We're going to turn them on and then we're going to see which one starts on fire first. Or we might just put them into a series of tests and see if this little guy can hang with one of the finest vacuums in the world. Let's do this thing. Number one, let's take a look at what I like and what I dislike about the vacuum. Starting with what I like. There's no cord. You're working on a construction site and there's maybe two or three outlets. Each outlet has about 14 cords plugged into it. You've made a mess. You reach for the vacuum. You plug, you don't plug it in. You just start cleaning things up. The build quality. This thing's about as rugged as you could ever hope for and not being like 70 pounds of just steel. It's tremendous. I, I stand on there all the time. I've put giant cabinets on here just so I can get a better grip on them. Cleaning the vacuum. Super simple. Just unclip these little buckles. Pop this off. You can just blow it off like this or you just unclip the filter and blow it off that way and then bang the filter a couple times and maybe blow it off again. But yeah, I mean, the filter comes on and off super easy. It's not going to make a huge mess. Um, it's not going to be a struggle getting it back on the hose. The hose is the best friend you always wanted but never had. It's amazing. I mean, it stores right on front of the vacuum. Super easy to clip in. Super easy to grab. A couple little tabs here that lock it in place so if you're using this thing like a sled pulling it around, it's not going to come undone. I mean, you could hammer throw this thing across a football field and it would still be attached. It's awesome. You can leave the attachments on there and it still clips in and stores nice. This is usually how I'll leave it sitting around when I'm using it inside the house or using it on the construction site. It'll just be like that. You can carry it around, unclip it clips back in nice. You can leave the cord dangling, but why would you? Just put it back. Like I tell my son, if you take something, put it back where it was. The suction power. The suction power is legit. I mean, with this attachment on here, you're not going to be uh, helping the dust in there. You're not going to be swiping back and forth. You know, it's, it's kind of a pretty nice little motion. What do I dislike about the vacuum? There's two things. Number one, the handle fold over. Sometimes this handle, you'll lean on the vacuum when you're using it. You're on the ground vacuuming up, whatnot. You put your weight on the handle and it folds over and crushes your knuckles right on the sharp edge. Doesn't feel great. It's happened about seven times. <laughs> you would think I would learn, but I don't. Um, second thing that I don't like about the vacuum let me grab that. And um, yeah, this does not fit together. The fittings don't work. You would think that because it's a Makita and a Makita that it would work together, but it does not, which is, there's no way to attach this on here. Like I've tried taping it on there, it doesn't really work. So what I end up doing is I have this, I've got this vacuum piece here from Rockler and it actually clips together quite nice. So then you can hook that onto the skill saw. It gives you a little bit extra length too, so that it's a little safer using it with the extra length. You don't want to be making a cut, run out of cord, and then pull the vacuum off of the edge or mess up your cut. Number two, how do I use the vacuum and what's it good for? I'll use the vacuum to um, vacuum up some areas before I'm installing cabinets in those areas. 
after I'm done installing the cabinets, I'll vacuum them out. I'll use the little crevice tool to get into all the drawer slides. And um, I'll use this here to just vacuum out all the cabinets. It goes right into the corner, cleans out no problem. Very nice. A lot of times I'll even use the vacuum for a step. It gives you about an extra foot of reach, which comes in handier than you'd think. Yeah, my wife will actually use the vacuum. She uses it maybe like once or twice a week. I usually leave it on the table saw here and she'll come and grab it. And um, she vacuums off the couch with it, cleans up pet fur pretty nicely. Um, just tonight she broke a bowl and she vacuumed up all the glass with that. We have a built-in vacuum system and um, if you have to choose between grabbing the hose and wrapping the hose up and finding the attachments or you can just grab this, a lot of times we use this around the house. <laughs> I'll use the vacuum maybe three, four times a week as a seat for lunchtime. Uh, it's the perfect height for sitting on. And then if you have a mess, there you go, you clean it up, you're good to go. <laughs> I'll use the vacuum quite a bit hooked up to my cordless skill saw, especially when I'm inside and my corded vacuum is outside. This works almost as well. I'll also use the vacuum quite a bit with my biscuit joiner. And the combination of this, uh, there's virtually no dust. The other day I did about 60 biscuits, nothing. Number three, let's have a look over a series of three tests how this little Makita cordless vacuum stacks up against the world-renowned Festool CT Mini. Test number one, power tool dust collection. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean the vacuums out and then we're going to hook them up to this cordless kill saw. We'll perform 38 cuts each in a sheet of plywood and then we'll weigh the sawdust that each vacuum collects and we'll see if this little Makita is even in the same ballpark as this corded vacuum. Test number two, raw cleaning ability. So what we're gonna do here is take all the sawdust that we made before, put it into a drawer, and then we'll have a little time trial and see which one of these vacuums can clean the drawer out the quickest. Test number three, the raw horsepower shootout. So what we're gonna do here is get a little scientific with these vacuums and see which one of them has the most raw horsepower. Well, that was pretty impressive. I did not expect this little cordless vacuum to do so well. I mean, obviously it has its limitations in terms of size. If you wanted to use it for like a desk collector for a table saw or even a chop saw. But if you clean this filter and you have a fresh battery, it's virtually as good as a corded vacuum. And it's about a thousand times more portable. If you've made it this far in the video, Thank you. You're the best. Hope you enjoyed the review. Stay tuned in the future.